anyone follow the, the YouTube channel ClickSpring? OK, a few, if you don't know about this, talk about mechanical problem solving. ClickSpring is this amazing Aussie machinist who hand builds clocks in a shop that is smaller than this stage. And he does it with surpassing precision. And he is currently in the middle of making a perfect replica of the Antikythera mechanism, the incredible geared calendar found um, 2000, in a 2,000-year-old shipwreck at the bottom of the Mediterranean. It's a completely amazing find. It predates the next gear by a millennia. Uh, and it's an astounding uh, invention. And he is going through it very carefully. But one of the machines he uses in his shop is this thing called a die filer. And I didn't even know this existed. And it is a little table. Uh, and a file comes out of the middle. And the file's on an oscillator. And it just goes up and down. And for precision uh, filing, this is the perfect tool. So I saw his filer, and I was like, what is that? And it was a die filer. OK, where do I get one? And it turns out there's a kit. And there's a guy uh, in the, on the East Coast who makes these kits. And so what does a kit from a die filer look like? It is five pieces of cast iron with no machine surfaces. And you have to machine every single surface and line everything up and put it together yourself. And I have never done this kind of thing. I'm a moderately experienced machinist, but this is way outside my range. So, after taking the nap and cleaning my shop, I chucked this like 14 pound hunk of cast iron into my lathe, which is one of the scariest things I've ever done. And I started it spinning. <laughs> and I was like, OK, it's not flying across the room. I'm going to approach it carefully. And I slowly made a couple of reference surfaces on it. That means I machined enough of it so that when I took it off, I would have a perfectly round reference point that I could repeat and then handle the rest of the machining for the thing. Again, I haven't done anything like that at all. Uh, and so it was an hour and a half of really careful, precise work of a kind that I had never tried. So I was thrilled the whole time, even as hot chunks of cast iron are flying into my face and burning me. I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> what, what little tiny iron filings, though, do to the magnets on your AirPods is disgusting. So like there's magnets holding your AirPod case together. And yesterday, it looked like one of those hairy puzzles that you make with <laughs> magnets. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed making a reference surface on that piece of cast iron.